Hey, welcome to Dap Down Tech, where we take a look at tech from the top to the bottom. In today's video, we're going to be checking out whether there is any difference between a 32 gigabyte RAM setup versus a 64 gigabyte RAM setup in terms of video rendering time. So this is going to be a very specific video. But anyway, I hope you guys still stick around to finish the entire video to find out whether there is any performance difference between the two RAM capacities. All right, so first off, let's get the preliminaries out of the way. So the thing that you need to know is that this is not gonna be a scientific comparison. We're not gonna be comparing apples to apples or oranges to oranges. This is just gonna be a comparison with the setup that I actually have right now. So what I do have are 32 gigabytes of RAM from G-Skill Trident Z RGB. And then we have four sticks of 16 gigabytes of RAM from Team Group T-Force Delta RGB. So that makes it 64 gigabytes of RAM. And a huge thanks to Team Group for sending over their 64 gigabyte kit for me to be able to compare 32 gigabytes of RAM versus 64 gigabytes of RAM. Now, other things that you need to know, the video that we're rendering here is a 4K video on a 4K timeline, 24 frames per second at 100 Mbps. So this is a CBR or constant bit rate. This is what I typically use when I render my videos for YouTube. So the video duration is about 10 minutes. And also while we're rendering the video, there were about three to four Google Chrome tabs that were open for both setup. Oh, and lastly, of course, these are the specs of the PC that I was using. So those are the key informations that you need to take note of once we start talking about the comparison between the render times. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the actual render time. And don't worry, I sped up the whole clip to about 2000%. So let's see how it goes and how much RAM it eats up. And we'll try to see if there's any improvement in rendering time when I switch to 64 gigabytes of RAM. All right, let's go. All right, so there you have it, guys. We finished rendering the video. The RAM stayed at about 50%, I think. So you can see we have the same settings, 4K resolution, 100 Mbps, CBR, constant bitrate. So let's go. Okay, so there you have it. What, how many minutes was that? All right, so that was our test. So first off with the 32 gigabytes of RAM, the memory usage hovered at around 17 to 19 gigabytes. For the 64 gigabytes of RAM, the memory usage hovered at around 20 to 21 gigabytes. And I guess the main difference that you guys wanna find out for watching this video is whether there was an improvement in terms of render time. We got roughly about one minute faster render time on the 64 gigabytes of RAM. All right, so what does this ultimately mean? It means we're gonna be getting a very slight improvement in terms of render time. If you're gonna be switching from 32 gigabytes of RAM, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. If I had a very limited budget, I wouldn't put all my eggs on a RAM upgrade. I'll probably use that extra money to save up and maybe spend for a GPU upgrade or maybe a CPU upgrade, but definitely not a RAM upgrade, especially if you're just rendering videos even in 4K. But maybe if you're planning on rendering videos at 8K, this might come in handy. But in general, I think the sweet spot for editing videos on Premiere Pro at 4K resolution for both content creators and video editors is 
32 gigabytes of RAM. If you're gonna be jumping to 64 gigabytes of RAM, you have to temper or lower your expectations when it comes to improvements that you might see in terms of render time, in terms of overall performance, because overall my performance stayed the same and my render time, while it did improve by one minute, isn't gonna change anything significantly. But again, it all depends on how much you value your time. Every minute does count, especially if you are trying to be as fast as you can in terms of producing your videos. But again, I must reiterate that for the general content creators out there, 32 gigabytes of RAM is the sweet spot. And if you're just editing 1080p videos, you can stick with 16 gigabytes of RAM for now. Anyway, I hope this video was informative enough, even though this wasn't really a scientific comparison. And once again, I want to thank Team Group for sending out their T4's Delta RGB for this video. And by the way, guys, I'll be making a build video to show you what I'm using for my video editing. And as you can see, there's uh, one part of that that is the Huawei Mate View GT. Don't worry, I'll show you everything in my rig right now so you guys can see how I edit or what I use to edit my video. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.